General David Ojoko Ire, Uganda Army. David Oyire Ojo, a man with a soft smile, a Uganda military commander who played important role in removing strong man Idi Amin Dada government in 1979. He served as a National Army Chief of Staff. He was at that time a Major General. He was a Junior Army Officer during 1966-71 period of President Milton Obote. He was transferred from the 1st Battalion to the 4th Battalion in 1966. At seven Apollo orders. And in 1966, he was transferred again to the Army headquarters and he became the beauty. Assistant Adjutant and Quartermaster General. He joined the Uganda Army also in 1966. In 1970, while Amin was out of the country, serving as Uganda representative at the funeral at President Nasser of Egypt, Obote appointed a new chief of staff. And that was Brigadier Suleiman Hussein. As I said before, and I still repeat it today, we had been circulating rumors in Uganda that they truly dominated the military since we got independent. Those rumors that are created within our society is to make it look like the actual is dominated the army while Nubians were the majority in the army. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss your daily source of info on Uganda. Let me be clear and let's get started. Oyeto job, serve as Lieutenant Colonel in 1971. but was forced to flee into exile by Idi Amin Dada when he overthrew the government in 1971. While in Tanzania, we a job joined the Gorilla Army. At Obote operating in exile. Uyote Jok gained a legendary role 
reputation, when it became known that he was a mysterious man. You see, when you're a man of the people, you can get your way. And he used to move into Uganda and out of Uganda while he was in Tanzania safely. And then we have the slogan, wherever he goes, he will tell his boys, let's party. You'll hear that there was a party in Bugolobi, he was there. You'll hear that he dropped at Masaka. You'll hear that he was in West Nile. So people were really saying, this man is a mysterious man. He's not a mysterious man. When you love your people, when they like taking command from you, when they like you organizing something safe, it will make sure that it happens. While in Tanzania, I was living not far away from his home. Sometimes when I'm not doing anything on Saturday, I would drop in and the general and his family are open-hearted people. Whenever you drop down, it does not matter whether you are a Lang, you are a Muganda, or you are a Lugwara, or you are a Madi. You drop in, you will be treated equally. You drop into his home, you will be treated equally. That is what I like from the general. Because he kept us together. Whenever I was going to his place during the weekend, I would find some other people there. And then you would ask yourself, what are they doing here? They're there for a visit. I went there several times. And I have to be honest that uh, sometimes you have to tell the truth. You don't have to hide anything. I like the man myself because I was very fond of something in our culture called La Chaka Chaka, something green. When you have La when you eat, when you eat La Chaka Chaka, which is made proper with ugali, you can stay for a long time just feeling what is going into your tummy. So I used to call him La Chaka Chaka and he used to laugh, say, you man, you want to make me something nice to eat? He said, yes. And uh, that is uh, a character that uh, you cannot find it anywhere. He became known that he was a very mysterious man. A person who keeps sneaking, sneaking into Uganda and making Idi Amin so worried. He would party with the local in Kampala, capital, stay in the city. And when Amin later learned of it, he became very, very, very annoyed. And he decided to put more than 70,000 on his head. 
And when he, he puts money on his head, he even became more popular because I would also go for Charles. If you put money, then I would say, yeah, this man is a real mysterious man. That is the one I want to have. And we would go for it. Who not? Because if that is what you want, it's very interesting. He has. He has taken a place in our history. In 1972, he took part in the rebel invasion of Uganda. Remember, the rebel then attacked Uganda from Tanzania. I think the movement was too early and too soon. It was not properly organized. At that moment, I was still in Uganda, 1972. We were very happy to hear that an invasion had started. But we were then very disappointed later to hear that our people had been caught up in a situation whereby they murdered, captured, because we played games. As I said before, there were already dark forces in Uganda ever since we got independent. And those dark forces are the very people who developed General Service Unit and created the State Research Bureau and built what we call the INUSU. These are the people that should have given us the answers to questions that have never been answered ever since we got independent the question that had never been answered when our top military officers were taken away one by one. And soon we are going to go to Luero genocide. Remembrance Day. Virtual genocide. Remembrance Day. And we are going to make sure that nobody is left behind. That is the policy of one all. So the, the attempted coup was not good, was not properly organized. He led the group that targeted massacre and the attack resulted in a major defeat of the rebels. After that, what he decided that a defeat is a defeat. When you are defeated, you go back and try something else. He then organized a navy of six boats on Lake Victoria 
used for smuggling operation to finance the rebels in order to set up the underground network in Uganda. Oyiro Joe was in charge. He was the man in charge of those Navy. And when the Uganda army invaded Tanzania in 1978, he led the Uganda-Tanzania war. And he served as a field commander for Botas private army, Ikosi Malum and was appointed head of the Uganda National Liberation Army, UNLA, Battalion, in 1979. He then rose to the Chief of Staff for the UNLA and congratulations, my brother, because with a job well done, you deserve the right to be recognized for the job you've done for us all. We all know when the transitional period came, or Yoko Yoweri Museven, Paul Mwanga, and Tito Kelo were in control of military command, military commission. That is when the world claimed that the military commission was in favor of reporting. We are all blindfolded with the word unity in order to liberate Uganda. The alliance of political forces to the UNLA to Yusuf Lule began to emerge and things began to fall apart. And that was truly based on tribal rivalry, which our noise our voice, our noise, failed to smell. When we were in Tanzania, we all claimed we were good boys and women. But the moment things started changing, we want more than we could chew. So you see, there is a problem with Ugandans. The tribal problem is not going to leave us out soon. We were accusing one side of only employing their sisters and brothers in the army and dominating the army. But let me take you back. If you go back now so many years, out and you ask yourself, have you seen any change? In Buganda, 
in northern Uganda, in western Uganda. People used to say, don't back up a body. It is not your time. Are we going to say the same to seven that don't back up with seven? It's not your time. When he has already stolen all your land. When he has already stolen all the taxpayers' money using it for his own personal benefits. You may hate a human being, but try to go back and understand what he did, how he did it, what it was, being in exile, coming back and making Uganda proud. And let me tell you something. We may cry as loud as we want, but if we don't solve, the equations around General Service Unit, NUSO, and State Research Bureau, we may not know what really happened. And every year, as we move on, those goals may meet one another again on the road. And believe me, nothing is so easy. We can talk big. We can pretend to be good analysis. But when you ate one person, simply because he is not one of you, then there is something wrong. Let me say thanks to you, General that your name came up again. We know every time we are driving from Lira to Gulu, you look at the left-hand side of the road, we still see your house there. Out of sight does not mean out of mind. I wish you all the best, my brother. Let's